Hello guys and welcome to the aquarium. Thank you for joining me today. Today we're going to be building our first enclosure of the aquarium which is going to be a manta ray touch pool. I am so excited to get started on this. Really hope you're looking forward to it too. If you didn't see the last episode, uh, let me just uh, show you what this is. Um, this is the aquarium. It's going to be the start of my aquatic zoo here uh, on the island. Um, it's a creative series where we're going to be building uh, uh, various enclosures for all the aquatic and underwater creatures uh, this is the the main entrance so this is what we built in the last episode if you haven't seen it definitely go check it out it's well worth seeing I th well I hope it is anyway uh, so we have these uh, three platforms here um, and this is all decorated out we've got all the nice plants and flowers around the outside we've got the kind of map table in the middle all around the back we have uh, the aquariums with the uh, the fish and things in and the little flowers. We have our reception desk where you can buy your tickets and we have our entrance. Now what we're going to be doing today is working on our first enclosure. So that's going to be in here. Well actually it's going to be out here. This is where the Manta Ray touch pool is going to be. But uh, we have this big old platform and we need to put something in it. Now we're also going to be building something else which is what we're going to be doing first. And that's where we're going to be building a cinema. Now this was uh, suggested by um, uh, Sana Banana who uh, had a yeah, great suggestion build a cinema and we can use it to show educational uh, environmental films about the uh, underwater creatures that we have here at the zoo i thought that was a fantastic idea and definitely gave me a really good uh, you know thing to put into this first room so uh, future plans just uh, just so you know obviously this is going to be the the exit here um i think i might change this wall because uh, this, this could be the gift shop in here and um probably want uh, people to be able to get in and out quite easily uh, but uh, yeah so the, the idea is that this is going to be like a circular enclosure so you, you go through the entrance there and you work your way all the way around each enclosure visiting uh, each of the different uh, animal species and then you end up back over this side and then you come out of the exit hopefully I can pull it off it's an ambitious project um, but uh, I'm, I'm confident we can do it with uh, with your help, your suggestions uh, for what things that we can build and what you'd like to see, that sort of thing. Uh, fantastic. So let's get started on the cinema. So I placed uh, in this doorway here just to kind of remind me where things are going to go. And I'll show you exactly what I'm going to be doing. We're going to have a big old cinema screen, which is going to be... If we can get this along here, along these three walls. I had a really good idea for how we could do this. And I played about with it a bit just to make sure it works, and I think it does. So uh, I'll show you what we do. So we do this as a support, and then we have um, these glass walls, which I'll place along the front like this. Now I'm using S plus here, so uh, we can intersect and use these S plus glass walls. We do it like this, and I think we want it. Yeah, we'll have it going up here as well. So it goes all the way up to the ceiling. And uh, then what we need to do is once we've got these in is we'll need to remove those. Uh, we can remove these ceilings. Again, we've had the structure support taken off so we can have floating kind of structures uh, if we need to. So that uh, makes building so much easier. Now, there's a little bit of uh, an odd thing which uh, I noticed when I was sort of building and taking things away is sometimes you can't always seem to hit it with these uh, S plus guns. Now I did I did notice that somebody else um, was having that trouble. I watched a video of someone building on uh, these these uh, wedge platforms here. He's having the same sort of trouble. So whether it's something interacting with these uh, platforms here that's uh, giving you a bit of trouble, but it's it's not too much of an issue. Uh, right. Anyway, now we want to hang some walls off the bottom row. Uh, what you didn't want to do is uh, to hang them off the bottom of the ceilings. That's why I got rid of the ceilings first because then you'll have a gap coming through, and I'll show you where we're going to have a gap um, in a moment. Okay, so that's like that. So uh, yeah, you, once you do, um, we're going to remove the, uh, the the model here. So remove the walls, uh, the, the edges, I should say, so that these are um, you know no sided uh, things. So you have a kind of a gap in between that that this that wall and that wall. So that's what we're going to do. Anyway, first thing that we're going to do now is to uh, do the transparency. We're going to make these completely opaque, and we'll save the settings, and then we should be able to. Ah, oh, there you see. I can't get that unless I get the right kind of angle. It's really weird. But anyway, it's not really too much of an issue. We can do it. So we're going to go all the way through and make this. Come on. Oh, now I have to go back down again. There we go. Uh, yeah, so we're going to make this. Uh, the, and this is the cinema screen. Do it like this. And then what we're going to do is move on to the model selector. 
And then certainly for these middle ones, we'll go to those sides, we can select that, go all the way through, take out this middle. And then what we're going to do, this one's going to have um, one side, so we just have like an edge. Uh, that's going to be a... Um, it's going to be a corner. Could be, oh, I can't actually get this. Come on, there we go. Corner B, that works. This one should be corner D, I think. No, C, A. It's one of them. <laughs> I can never remember which one it is, like that. And anyway, this one, I don't know, come up. It's going to be A. So we can come along here, get rid of all those corners like this. And to what we'll do this one first, that'll be an easier one. We'll do um, B. There we go. And then just a couple of corners to do. So this one's going to be C, I think. Yep. And then, ah, <laughs> it's annoying, but it's not, it's not too much of a problem. So this should be D, corner D, if we get this down. Perfect. And there we go. We have a massive cinema screen. That looks amazing. So obviously we're going to need to have some seats and things in here as well, but let's get the, the room done. Um, now what we're going to have, it's a, the way it, the uh, the walls work on this is a little bit weird. Um, so we, we need some tech walls. And what we're going to do is we're going to place the wall just like that. And then it's going to come out and line up with the, with the sort of the edge here from where the window is. Now, as you can see, these are kind of sunken down uh, as opposed to these ones that go across, which is, I'm not too sure why, why it's like that, why the snap point is sort of so low. Um, Actually, I'm guessing it's maybe because it then it will then line up with the, the ceiling. You can see I've got another kind of snap point there, but if we do like that, and then I think we can use, not this one, this one. Oh god, that's a bit, that's a bit dodgy. There's a lot of snap points there, but that's the one we want. Oh, we missed it. Okay. <laughs> Fine. Uh, this side. Sloped, yeah. So this this could be this could be an issue, but maybe that's why it's sunken because I think then it does sort of kind of line up with this. Oh my god! Snap. That's probably not the right ones at this one. Oh, <laughs> oh no, the trouble. We, I, I may, I'll probably do this off camera because that's really annoying. How about this? Is that what we want? Is that lined up? Oh no, that's off slightly. So yeah, I'm using the wrong one there. But anyway, you can see what I'm going to do. Let, let's come back to those because uh, I have a feeling I'm going to get frustrated trying to build those. So we're going to come across. We'll build this wall up, and then yeah, so this will come all the way up to the the top, like so. Uh, yeah, so that's we'll build that wall up there, and we're going to have another wall. So you can sink them here as well, but I don't. I don't want them sunk because then you can't get through the doorway because you'll bang your head when you walk through the door. So that's kind of, which is kind of frustrating. So yeah, so we'll have this little kind of this is this the entrance way. I think it's going to look pretty cool. Kind of like that. And no, misplaced, misclick. And then this uh, is going to come out at this point here, going all the way along like that. And then, yeah, so what we have inside there is the cinema room, so people can come in. So they come in the entrance, they can either stop off and watch the uh, the cinema show as they, as they uh, before they embark on the rest of the zoo, or they can just go out and, and straight away go and see the exhibits. So, uh, right, I'm going to build this wall. It's going to be a little bit fiddly, so I, I won't make you sit through the rest of it. So I'll build that, and I'll be back in a moment. Okay, here we go. So this is, uh, yeah, I've managed to get all the uh, little slope walls on there. It was quite tricky, but uh, it wasn't as bad as it might have been. We got there in the end. I put these two walls here just because I just thought that they look quite funky. Just look quite cool like that. Um, so yeah, this is the wall. We've got some opaque doors in here. Uh, we go in and I've placed some of these nice comfy sofas so people can sit down and look at the cinema uh, at the screen. I think that looks pretty cool. I'm going to put a few kind of lights in here just to kind of make it look even better. We need to fill up a, a little bit more decorations. And I've got these kind of green lights. I thought these would be quite cool. Just kind of placing them down like that. And I've got another one, which I think I'll place like one of these. These are uh, the, these from the uh, Eco's Tech Decor mod. And they're pretty cool. They don't provide a huge amount of light, but they just kind of give a bit of color to it, which I just thought would look quite good. I, I quite like the look of it. 
Um, I'll do like these. So we'll place a few of these sort of green lights around. Like that. Oops. Um, we've also got these these lights that we used before, which might be quite cool to kind of uh, maybe guide the way. Ideally, it would be like pitch black in here because obviously that's what you want for the cinema. But uh, we can't really do that unless we uh, make it night time. But if we place these maybe along each of the rows of these uh, sofas, it kind of be like the lights you get in the cinema to kind of make sure you don't fall down the stairs, that sort of thing. Quite cool. Uh, at the front, yeah. So we'll do like that. That's going to look pretty good. Ah, uh, yeah. Look at that. Uh, we definitely want a few more. I would say maybe we could have one. Let's have a tech light like above the exit. So marking where the exit door is. And th these areas are kind of empty. I'm not too sure. Maybe we could have like an ice cream stand or something. Uh, I know people aren't really going to sort of be in here. These aren't going to be massively long films <laughs> that would be shown. Uh, probably sort of things that would be shown on loop and stuff. But yeah, it'd be pretty cool. Let's put stick a couple more of these lights down uh, just to kind of make it look quite cool. Not that one. I want one of these ones sort of next to the wall here like this. Make things symmetrical. We'll put it onto the other side. Like that. That looks cool. And then what I'll do is I'll just have some of these lights in the corners. The same sort of thing that we did in the uh, the entrance. Uh, if we can actually get the right snap point. Oh, it's a little bit tricky. You can't get it right in the center. Oh, there we go. That looks good. And it's in place. Okay, let's try further out. There we go. There. Go on, move. Oh, try to move. There we go. Oh, that's basically there. It's just they're just slightly off, but that's fine. We can deal with that. Uh, so two on the sides, and then I think what we'll do is we'll go and start on uh, on the, uh, the the Manta Touch Pool. Oh, come on, get in the right place. There we go. There, one more on this side. A bit further out, about oh dear, there that'll do. Lovely. Oh, that looks that <laughs> looks really cool. So, yeah, I probably might put a few more decorations in. And I think what I should probably do is on the outside here, do something as well. There's a, well, the lights kind of tend to bleed through the wall a bit. So that's not going to look too bad. I wonder whether we could just stick some lights up here. It might look quite cool. Um, let's just forget, you only need one of these. One, one click of the mouse to put these ones on. Like that. And like that. Yeah, we'll go with that. Um, and then like, we could put a sign up here to say cinema or something, but uh, I'll leave that for now because I want to get started on the touch pool. So this is going to be um, an interesting thing. I'll be using things that I've not done before. I want to place in um, some vacuum compartments, I guess, because we're probably going to want to go below the water. Maybe. I'm not too sure for the touch pool. I might not need to. In actual fact, yeah, I might not need to. Right, okay. I think what I'm going to do is I'll take these away. And I think what I should try is the ramps. We'll go straight down for the ramps. Let's put this in the oh, number one slot. So, uh, oh, okay. Apart from the fact I forgot we cannot snap off. Um, we could put some walls in first to snap it off. I think, does that work? Yeah, that work work like that. Or we could bring the ceilings out first. What do you think? I think we should, um, I think I'll put the walls in like this. And then we'll put the, the ramps on to those two and then we can take away these walls perfect and then we'll make these stairs now the great thing uh, about the height i think of this this um this platform is that one ramp brings it down to just above the water it looks pretty awesome I and mean, we can snap the ceilings to it and you are just above the water it's absolutely perfect height kind of accidental but um i'm pretty i'm pretty stoked about how that's happened is that is the absolute perfect height because it is just in the water, but it's it's not. Oh yeah, that's really cool. Right, so the pool. Um, what I might just do, I might just spawn in the mantle just to kind of remind myself about how big they are, so I know how big to make the touch pool. Yeah, let me just uh, see if I can do that. Okay, so uh, I've been trying to work out about the kind of size and things that I want. Um, so if I just fly up here, we're going to look from the air. So this, I think this is a decent kind of size for touch pool. Now I think we're going to want to obviously make it maybe a little bit bigger uh, for the room itself. Uh, this is going to be like an inside room, so we're going to put a roof on and stuff. 
Um, I'm thinking I might make this maybe one longer. It might work out. So uh, just kind of like angled it, make it so it's not just like a box because I don't want to build a whole sort of just a, a load of segments of boxes and things with with different animals in because that'll just be uh, you know it'll get a bit samey after a while. So we've got to try and make each room look a little bit unique. Uh, so this is what I come up with. Um, I've just done the uh, the tech ceilings all the way around the edge, and what I'm thinking is filling in this area down here with a uh, glass ceiling, so we can um, have it as yes, yeah, so you can see down to the ground, because otherwise it's going to look a little bit dark, a little bit dull, with if it's all grey and stuff. Um, and uh, what we've got in here, about four of I, I spawned in. One, two, three, four. Yeah, there's 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 four of them here. And I think that's a good number to have in the touch pool. We could probably put some other things in here as well. Where else would you normally touch? Um, we could put some uh, some silicants in here as well. That might be quite good. Uh, maybe some salmon. I don't know. But they'll have their own enclosure sort of separately anyway. But to, just to kind of make this look a little bit more full of life, that sort of thing. Uh, we could put some uh, some fish in here as well. But uh, this is mainly for the manta. Um, I'm wondering, I think I might extend this back maybe one more. So we can just bring this back out uh, along like this, and then we'll build up the wall around around there. And then I need to work out where I'm going to link up the um, the walkway because we need to obviously we need to be able to walk. Um, again, I'm thinking of having a glass walkway so out the middle, and then maybe something around the edge leading on into uh, the next room, or maybe they can walk over the edge and we'll have the exit. Yeah, that might work actually. We'll have the exit. Um, I can just fly up here. So, like you, so you walk out over this way a little bit, and then the exit can either be here or maybe off to the side this way, leading on into the next room over there. That, that could work. All right, guys, I am back, and I cannot believe what has happened. My recording software failed on me, and I lost my whole footage of me building the Manta room. Uh, this was going to be a 40 minute episode. I did loads and loads of, of video footage and it, it just, it's all gone. I can't believe it. Cannot tell you how frustrated I am. So annoyed. Uh, the second episode of the series. I wanted this to be such a good series for you guys. I'm having technical issues already and I've just lost so much work. Well, my work is still here, but you can't see it. I'm just going to have to show you what I've done and uh, we'll, I'll explain everything we've done. As you can see, there's a whole load of stuff that I've done in here. I've uh, got the manta uh, wandering around in here and stuff, so let me let me take you through it, and hopefully you can forgive me the uh, the technical issues that we've got. And uh, next episode, I really hope it's not going to happen again. So anyway, first of all, so starting out from the outside of the cinema, I've placed in some uh, flowers and bushes and things. So uh, we've got this uh, rhododendron bush here, um, which looks really nice in this pot. Uh, yeah, so the walkway. So this is where we left it. I was then about to build the walkway. So we have this glass walkway going along. We have the railings along here. I've placed a few of these blue tech lights around the place. They look really cool like that. Um, we have a walkway going out this way, which is going to lead out into the next enclosure. That's going to be out this way. And I've, oh, no, I've just fallen in, and now it's really difficult to get back in. Oh dear, come on. <laughs> oh no, I can't get back in. Okay, <laughs> hang on a second. Okay, let's try that again. So this is the outside of the building here. Now I had this uh, really cool little funky um, sort of cornering uh, thing, which I, I showed how I did in the building, and obviously I can't do that now. Uh, but yeah, but you kind of uh, you have one one uh, triangle foundation snapped to one roof, and another sort of normal ceiling snapped to the other one to kind of give this kind of double. Uh, double pointed look on it and I'm sure I thought it was a really cool little effect. We've got the skylight in the top here and we have uh, the mantas on here. Now let me show you actually the mantas would be really interesting. We can zoom around here, try not to hit the water. Uh, yeah so we have two walkways that goes out that way and we have another one that comes out this way which again will lead into the second enclosure which I haven't decided what's going to be yet um, but so uh, it should be should be good when we get when we get going on it. So okay, let's dive down into the water. Uh, before I do that, I'll just remove one of these uh, railings so I can actually get back out again. One of the frustrating things about creative mode is you still can't fly in and out of water. Once you go in the water, you're swimming and you're kind of stuck. So what we have here is uh, we have uh, first of all decorations. We've got a few rocks and a few of these uh, little sort of um, seaweed kind of things around. And uh, now we have these little flags here. Now these flags are from the waypoint mod and you can kind of uh, get the um, animals to follow waypoints. So I've used this on the last couple of educational videos so that the animals walk around in a set pattern. So these guys all kind of follow each other around, swim around, which I think is really cool. Uh, you can change these flags to stones 
I think this is one over here. This is a waypoint stone. So uh, but I've left them as mostly as flags there. Um, yeah, so they're following around like that. I did put a few of these uh, coelacanths in. Um, now these, interestingly, they don't spawn in tamed like everything else does. You know, I could spawn in a tamed manta, but I can't spawn in tamed fish. Now I could use a fish basket. Actually, do I have? I haven't got the fish basket on me. Where are they? Let's have a quick go with that since we're here. I might as well to see if we can uh, tame up one of these fish. Let's uh, stick the basket down. Is that going to go down? There we go. Um, it's, it's, you have to be quite close. <laughs> it's a bit awkward. See, here we go. Let's see if we can get one over here. I don't seem to want to place very easily. There we are. All right, so it's tailing. Oh, no, no. Let's try again. This is frustrating. Here we go. So, initializing. Going to get the coelacanth. Come on. There, we got it. It's fantastic. So we've tamed it. So what we can do now, these are uh, uh, the aberration things that we have. Uh, we can put the fish down and it is now tamed. Brilliant. Though I don't think, can we get these to wander around? I'm not entirely sure that we can. We uh, just enable wandering. Oh, it does. Brilliant. Okay. So I could get that to follow the same uh, pattern and follow the uh, fish, uh, the manta around. But... Um, I think we'll just leave it on wandering for now. Yeah, so I've got some other ones in there. So that looks like the way we're going to have to do the uh, the steel accounts. That's a really nice one, isn't it? The green one. But yeah, but anyway, so the, yeah, this is the enclosure. So um, you can have to let me know what you think uh, down in the comment section. Um, let's put that railing back. Yeah, so I'm also sorry about that. I lost so much footage about me actually building this and showing you sort of, uh, you know, different stages as we're going along and my thought process and how I was building it and stuff. And unfortunately, all that was lost. So... Um, yeah, I'm really, really disappointed about that. But hopefully next episode we're not going to have that issue and we can have like a decent uh, building episode and I'll, I'll do some more building on camera and stuff. Uh, but yeah, okay. So last thing I wanted to mention um, is about naming these guys. Now, if you are regular viewers and you followed along with the Shredder Zoo series um, last year, you'll know that uh, the, the process that I did there was, I would say, you know, if you want uh, one of the animals named after you, just stick it down in the comment section and um, I'll, uh, you know, pick out the uh, the people who ask and, and then name things after you. Now, I'm going to do something different this time. So, first of all, do not ask to have something named after you, okay? That's the first rule. So, if you do ask in the comment section, I'll know you didn't watch the entire video and then you don't deserve to have something named after you, but <laughs> it's fine. Okay, what we can do is, um, basically, yeah, the, the issue was sometimes I would have a popular animal and I would have so many requests, I didn't have enough animals to go around. And then, of course, some people were, were disappointed. Um, and then other times, perhaps if it was a less popular animal, I didn't have enough requests and there were animals that went without naming. So to, to make it um, a bit fairer, um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to read the comment section. And any nice comments that, that are in there, any, anything, maybe, maybe funny comments or just interesting comments or just, just a comment that kind of relates to the video in some way just just whatever you know there's no real criteria it's just something that i'm going to pick out my my favorite comments and those people are going to get things named after them we'll see how that works we'll, we'll have, give that a go and we'll, we'll see if it works but basically um don't don't ask for it to be named after you because chances are i'm not going to choose you if you if you ask for it if you see what i mean well we'll see how it goes we'll see how things go um yeah so just put a nice comment down and um Hopefully uh, you'll get selected and uh, we'll make sure that we, we name all these guys as we go along. So this is going to be fun. And that, they've got the seal account there as well. Brilliant. Okay, yeah. So anyway, that's going to be all. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the video. I do apologize about the uh, technical issues. Um, but I'm pretty happy with how this came out. Um, you know, there's, uh, again, give me feedback and, and, and suggestions. Um, uh, Sandra Banana suggested doing... The the, um, the cinema, which uh, I think I think I'm pretty happy. It turns out pretty cool. Uh, that was the suggestion that was made in the comment section of the last video, and I just thought that was a really good idea, so uh, I went with it. So if you have suggestions, I may do it. I might not, but I may do. Um, but yeah, if you have any suggestions, maybe I don't know. Do we need windows in here? Maybe it might be quite nice to have some nice big windows, get it nice and bright, um, or not. I don't know. But let me know what you think. But uh, I'm going to call it a day here. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you'll come back next time. I don't know what we're going to be doing next time. It'll be another enclosure. Um, 
and uh, yeah so perhaps let me know what you'd like to see next I'm probably going to build my way up obviously I don't want to have the most popular things like uh, I'm not going to go straight for a Mosasaur next you know that, that's probably going to be towards the end of the series I think you know save the biggest and best for, for last I, I would say but uh, yeah let me know what you think anyway and uh, we'll see what uh, what um, what's popular but yeah anyway I'm pretty happy with how it turned out let me know what you think and I'll see you next time goodbye <laughs>